Let's take a look at this 3.3 mile Albert Park circuit in the hands of Sebastian Vettel. This is a very brave lap. DRS available down the pit straight at 190 miles an hour heading towards turn one and the track is continually drying out. Locks the right front, still makes the apex of turn one, hard on the throttle through the opening part of two. Long sweeping right-hander down to a critical braking zone for turn three, just 62 miles an hour. Didn't quite make the apex there. The track still damp in places. Turn four dispatched. Turn five, is it full throttle? Just about. Under the canopy of the trees into turn six and seven. He spots that perfectly, very early on the throttle. He's gaining confidence now on these slick tyres all the way through the lap. The long right-hander around the wall of turn eight. Bumpy braking zone for turn nine. Flicks it in. Again, apexes really well. And now 10, release the car up to 190 miles an hour, looking for that very difficult chicane of turns 11 and 12. And this is where drivers have been making so many mistakes. Total commitment through the exit, just a little bit hesitant on the throttle, waiting to find out how much grip there is. Driving in the tram lines of the dry part of the racetrack. Turn 13, being careful not to run too wide. 14's a long right-hander, you need commitment on the throttle through the exit, it tightens. Now do not lock brakes into 15. He's running a touch wide with understeer, gets away with it, flicks it into turn 16, slightly cautious on the throttle, then lets it go. DRS available to him again, down the pit straight, and Sebastian Vettel on pole position yet again.